Hello wonderful family, another glorious day and another beautiful opportunity to share the word with you, hallelujah. A thought came across to me earlier on today and I, I decided to share it. Um, do you know what is one of the highest forms of faith or demonstration of faith? And if you are one who does this, it will be apparent that you're one who walks in faith. Ask me what it is. It's gratitude and thanksgiving when you have not seen it yet manifest. But you are so filled with gratitude that you joy overflows and you ebulliently and effusively praise and thank God that he heard you, he's faithful, and he's done what he said he would do. If you're one who thanks him from your heart that he's done what he says he will do, you are actually demonstrating that you believe him. You've not seen it. It doesn't look as if anything has changed, but as you praised him, as you sorry, as you prayed, you left there, according to Mark eleven twenty four, believing that you have received it. If you've received something, the polite fellow, obedient child, says thank you to their father for having given it. That's what. Any good child does, and that's one of the things that moves the heart of a father to do more. Once you start thanking him for having kept his own part of the bargain, you're telling him that you, you believe him. And you remember scripture says that for it is impossible to please God without believing him, without trusting him. You are, you are speaking volumes when you're saying Thank you. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. I couldn't do this. I came to you and you gave me your word. Now, let's flip the coin and imagine a, a, a different scenario with a rascal that has come to somebody and asked somebody of means and has asked the person for something and the person gave his word. Uh, oh, don't worry, I'll give, it, I'll give it to you. And that person, that rascal lives there and starts grumbling. He, he has so much and instead of giving me, he's telling me he will give me. And he didn't give me, can't, can't he see my need? I need it now and he didn't give it to me. But he told you that, don't worry, I've, 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 I'll have see to it that you get it. And instead of thanking him, you are grumbling. How pleased will he be with you? If he gets to hear your grumble, you think he'll be obliged to keep his word to you? You say this rascal doesn't is not deserving of my benevolence. He can jolly well do without. But if the one who thanks him goes out and proclaims the goodness of this benevolent um, fellow, if that benevolent fellow hears about the declarations that this one goes around making, oh, this is a wonderful fe fellow. I asked him and he promised me I'm so grateful. He will speedily do that which he has said. And God said it. Mark eleven twenty four. Therefore, what things soever ye desire, when ye pray, believe that ye receive them. And it shall be given to you. Believe. And like I said, how do you show that you believe? The, the, the common denominator in it all is that if you've if you believe you've been given something, you applied for something, and the, the roots application granted. Thanks naturally effuses, naturally flows before even the thing comes to you. Take a cue from that. Practice giving of thanks to your father after you have prayed concerning things that he has promised in his word to give to you. And then, those things will come to you. Despite obstacles that that funny one might fling in your way, 
your thanks will carry you over those obstacles and you will get what he has promised you. God bless you. Hallelujah.